My name is Ruth Brownstein, spelled B-R-A-U-N-S-T-E-I-N. And I was born in Minneapolis, Minnesota. I'm 92 years old. I got into the gallery business in 1961. Rodney Strong. A dancer uh, from uh, New York who uh, I found here in San Francisco. I ran into him uh, just, just, just uh, by surprise. He was he come to California to open a wine tasting place, and they were very new at that time. And he uh, settled into Tiburon. There was a there was an old building, there was an old hotel. And my husband and I, and the kids, every weekend, you know, we were new to California, and so we would drive to Tiburon to help them. The biggest job I did, frankly, was washing the dishes. The, you know, the glasses after people tasted it. And that was a new thing too, people tasting wine. And they, they knew that I had an interest in, in art. And I was, I was taking a painting class just for kicks. So, uh, we said, let's open an art gallery. We went over and looked at the space. But by the time we <laughs> we left uh, Tiburon, we had you know we had 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 laid out the whole plan. I got th thought about somebody who would help me. So my husband Toddy gave me five hundred dollars to start the gallery. <laughs> when I think of what it costs now to do a gallery, it was unbelievably reasonable. And the one thing that, that got me very excited by what I saw in San Francisco and in the Bay Area was ceramics. That's when I got ran into Peter Volkus. Peter Volkus, because he was the hottest artist uh, in California. And I knew, I had seen his work around New York. I met him at a party. Can't beat that, and uh, and and he was showing with another gallery, but he they weren't doing much, and uh, and I said I want to give you a one-person show, you know. Well, that got him, and and so I had to pay him five hundred dollars a month to keep him. I you know I bribed him, frankly, huh? Well, the, the clay, I decided I'm just going to concentrate on clay and see what happened. Because the majority of clay artists all, all also worked in paint, you know, or worked in other materials. So I was very taken with it. And, um, well, it wasn't in the subject matter of what they were saying, trying, trying to say the methods of, of um, how, how they threw the clay, San Francisco area, because of the university in Berkeley, which had a very, very good program, and also the San Francisco Art Institute had a program of, 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 of a clay. Uh, it attracted a lot of people to come here and study. I was not a collector or anything like that. I mean, I always had a lot, big appreciation for love, for art, So I became very involved with the local arts community and still am. Hi, my name is Holly Fuwadi and my gallery is called Fuwadi Projects. Uh, this show is called Celebrating Ruth and it was inspired by Ruth Bronstein. 
So these are all uh, sculptures by Richard Shaw, and they are all made entirely of clay. So they look, may look like found object, but they're actually all clay. So this uh, ball and this uh, cigar box can, they're all uh, made of entirely of clay. Richard Shaw um, called Painter's Table with Unfinished Painting, uh, made uh, entirely of clay except for this one part which is a hand uh, blown glass. So you know Ruth was known uh, for bringing clay to a high art form and this is a, certainly an example. Turpentine, a can with brushes, uh, cigarettes and everything here except for this glass is all made of clay even though people always ask me even this part is clay yes every single piece of it is made of clay and it's uh, amazing and uh, that he can make it look like this even this table here looks like wood but it's clay Well, Ruth had told me so many great stories about being a gallerist for more than 50 years, and I was just really inspired by her life and thought it'd be fun to do something together. And as far as becoming a big dancer, you know, uh, uh, it was a little late in my life, and I've always wanted to be a dancer. And they, they offered modern dance classes five days a week. I was recognized as somebody with some talent, and Gertrude Lippincott, who was my teacher in Minneapolis. So I started working for her when I was 17 years old. It was modern dance. And uh, it's different from ballet because it was much more strenuous. company and so I danced with that from the very beginning. I danced in New York. I can express myself through movement and I just and I enjoyed the uh, choreography. I'm still involved with the art world. I'm still part of the, of the San Francisco art scene. I still sell, I have, as you will see, a lot of art that if I want to sell it, I can. But otherwise, it belongs to my kids, so they're getting paid off many years after the gallery got going and closed. They, they, they helped it all, all the time. They, you know, they stamped envelopes and, you know, and they put labels on, on the mailers. They became part of this whole scene. I run business from here. I just sold a painting to a collector in, in Kansas City, Missouri. Frankly speaking, I got a very big reputation for doing the art, doing art, because nobody was, nobody was representing artists in ceramics at that time. of running into the gallery business, just have him call me. I'll be helpful. People were helpful to me, so I'll just pay off that way.